All right, so welcome back to another edition of my channel. This is the Smoking Beard BBQ. Uh, I uh, the first time I, I actually did the seasoning of the actual smoker, I used wood chunks, which are back here somewhere. Those puppies down there. What I noticed was that, I mean, the smoker did such a good job in, in igniting the the wood that my temperature, my internal temperature, got up to like 550 degrees. And that's not what I wanted. So the next step is to try chips. These are the smaller chips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one in there. See if, if my temperature my temperature doesn't go up too high. All right. So first things first. Just so you know, right now my internal temperature of the smoker is at about 200 according to this, and about 230 according to my digital um, my digital thermometer over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stick these in since I've never smoked with one of these before. I want to be able to go to sleep at night knowing that I'm not going to overcook the meat. So what I'm going to do right now is it's been a steady baseline there at about 200 degrees here and 220 or 230 there, about 240 in my other one that I have over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out how much more the temperature goes up when I do introduce these chips with the lowest setting possible on my smoker. So right now it's already on. Notice that the flame is on. I'm gonna stick that in there. I'm gonna see how long it actually takes to start to smoke because I've never used chips before and I've never used it at this lowest setting. Well, I already see a little bit of smoke coming out. So that's not a bad that's not a, a bad sign right there. That means that these little chips will smoke. You gotta make sure this one's settled in there. You actually make sure make sure you settle it in on the base down there. All right. So close that off. And again, I don't trust this guy. I mean, I can maybe use it as a reference. I know that at about 200, it actually means it's at about 240, 220 to 240. But I'm not going to go based on what this guy tells me what the temperature is. Uh, freaking out that if it's, it's below 200 because I have two others that are saying otherwise. I have one saying it's 212 because I opened it up. And the other one telling me it's at about 225. Okay. So as of right now, I have yet to see any smoke coming out. I did use very little chips. I just want to use like a trial run to see how this works. I want to see if introducing these chips will actually increase I'm more than sure it will a little bit the temperature on the inside because you're gonna have that combustion with the wood and the actual the flame combusting the wood so to be honest with you it's very minimal but I can already see a little bit of smoke coming out towards the back let's go see if it's anything to brag about very very minimal smoke as you can tell right there so another way that you can actually uh, adjust your smoking temperature inside your smoker, if you notice that having this is too low for you, the temperature is not what you want, you can actually start uh, closing the damper off. Oh, there it is. There's the smoke coming out. Okay. So of course, if you close the damper a little bit, half ways, that's actually going to increase the internal temperature of your smoker. Right now, as it sits, it is telling me that it's 226 here on one of my probes. It's telling me that's a 221 there on my other probe and notice how it jumped up because I closed the damper a little bit and Down here. It's telling me it's at about under 200 about 190 Again, I don't know if I should trust this guy even though he came with master build. I don't know if I should trust that guy I've always gone with this guy and That guy But as, I, as you can see you notice how I put very little chips on the bottom and uh, true to its form it's giving me a nice little smoke. I can open that up. More smoke's going to come out. I can close it. And actually, you'll start seeing the smoke start to seep out through the actual uh, hinges on the doors because that's where it'll escape. Yeah, there you go. Starting to come out there. Let's see what it looks like down here. Ah, there you go. All right. Don't want to introduce too much oxygen because then that's what actually flares it up. And uh, notice here it's telling me, hey, you're hitting over 250 degrees. That is probably because of the combustion of the chips down there. At this point, if you're still, let me turn this off. If you're still babying this uh, this smoker at this point, I would highly recommend actually turning off your propane, knowing that about 200 here is actually where you want to be. At this point, again, normally this is the, the time when you want to introduce the smoke. The first four hours of your smoke is when you want to introduce the majority of the smoke. But if you notice down here, these chips are actually providing a lot of the heat so at this point what I would actually do is I would close this off here I 
and I would turn this off here. That turns off my actual smoke, uh, my actual propane on the bottom, and the only heat that's coming in right now is coming off of the chips. All right. Why would I do that? Because I do not, I do not want to um, bring in not only the heat from the chips, but also the heat from the actual propane. I'd rather it do this on its own, and then once, um, once I see that I'm going to go to sleep, then I can take the chip tray out because I don't want to introduce any more smoke, and I can actually just allow the the burner itself to continue to cook overnight. All right. So it, it does take a little bit of babying. It's not as easy as your uh, electric smokers, where you just set it and forget it. But this is between a electric smoker and the actual charcoal smoking technique. So there is going to be extra things you're going to have to do with this one, you know, to try to keep on top of it. Again, for the most part, you are going to have to baby it the first four hours because that's more or less how long a brisket takes to seal itself to get to that 140. But after that, you could actually take this chip tray out if, if you're thinking that it's going to increase your temperature inside. You can actually take that out and uh, turn on your burner again and let it maintain the 230, 240 degrees. Notice how even in there it's coming up a little bit. This is perfect, right? Let me know if you have any questions and uh, thanks for watching.